Well, hello, Shoreline. It, uh, it's Wednesday, April 8th, and I want to share uh, Psalm 62 with you, the opening verses, and just uh, as, as we are each time we gather like this, just quiet your heart, and you, you may have had a crazy day already, and just slow down and listen to God's Word. Psalm 62, beginning in verse 1. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down? This leaning wall, this tottering fence? Surely they intended to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. You can just feel this attack going on, right? Yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. Boy, you get the feeling as you read the Psalms that some of the people writing these Psalms, they were in dire straits, difficult times, painful times, needing to know God's presence and strength. And so just a couple of thoughts as we, as we spend this time reflecting on Psalm 62. First is this, find your rest in God. If you find your rest in God, you will always be rested because he'll never leave you alone. If you find your rest in God, you'll find a place of peace, a, a place of solitude, a place of calm waters because he leads you there. Find your rest in God. Second, find your hope in God and you'll always be hopeful. If you put your hope in stuff, your hope is going to bounce all over the place. If you put your hope in people, your hope's going to go away sometimes. If you hope, put your hope in ideal circumstances, ideal, ideal circumstances come occasionally, but it's not the norm for life. But if you put your hope in God, you will always be hopeful because God is unchanging. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Put your hope in Him. And then find your salvation in God, and you will be secure for eternity. If your salvation is, is in the God of the Bible, if you put your faith in Jesus Christ who gave His life for you, you will stand strong and you will stand secure. So I encourage you to put your rest, find your rest in God, find your hope in God, and find your salvation in God. And you'll find certainty and confidence in that. Before I pray for you, I want to give you an invitation. This Friday, we have Good Friday services. I want to encourage you to pick one of the services, pick a service time, and be there. And, and, and if you know other people who are Christians, and a Good Friday service is really a service for followers of Jesus. It's a very intense time of looking at the death and the sacrifice of Jesus. But if you know other Christians who don't have a church home right now, would you give them a personal call or a text and invite them to come to Good Friday services? I believe it will minister to their heart and to their soul. Will you pray with me? God, we pray that we would find our rest in you and in you alone. We would find our hope in you, the solid foundation that we need, and that we would know that you are our salvation. We would know that, embrace that, and celebrate it. God, I pray that for the rest of this day, we will feel your presence and your peace and your strength with us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today, Pastor Sean, our Chief of Staff, is going to share a few things about that are happening in the life of Shoreline Church. And so take a moment, listen to him, and just be aware of what's happening in the life of your church. God bless you. Well, hello, Shoreline. It's Wednesday, April 8th. And for this week's update, I just want to share with you a couple of new resources that are available to you and extend to you a special invitation. First, uh, then one of the new resources we've got available is a page on our website that's called Get Help and Give Help. And so oftentimes people are asking, you know, what types of resources is Shoreline have available to me? And I want to encourage you, if that's you, if you need some help, whether it's you need some, someone to pray with you, or maybe it's, it's you need someone to, to listen, uh, someone to help provide you some counseling, um, we've got that available for you as well through our lay counseling ministry. Also, if you are in need, if you've got need uh, such as some, some non-perishable food items, or you need food, or, or anything that you might need, you can find the information at this website. I want to encourage you to go there if you need some help. Also, a lot of people will ask, well, 
how can I give help during this time? Well, we've also got that web pages for you as well. There's different ways that you can offer assistance, offer help. That means something as simple as uh, volunteering to go and bring some, some food items to some of our folks who are shut in, or, or perhaps it's, it's donating food items to our food pantry, or even maybe it's just calling someone who could use someone to listen to them, to talk with them, and even just to pray with them. So if that's you, if you want to give some help to people, please check that website out. That's the Get Help and the Give Help webpage on our Shoreline website. The other resource that's available to you and I'm really excited about is a new resource for our families. And so what you'll find on our family resource page, you'll see that we have age appropriate lessons from grades one through grades five and even the young ones. There's these wonderful lessons, there's videos, there's also some coloring pages and some stories, family activities that you can, you can actually use, especially this week as we, we lean into Good Friday and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus on Easter Sunday. This page has wonderful, wonderful resources for you. So check that page out on the Shoreline website. And also a special invitation this week. As you know, this Friday is Good Friday and an Easter Sunday where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so this week, I wanna invite you especially to join us online for our Good Friday services and also our Easter Sunday services. On Good Friday, we'll have two services, and on Easter Sunday, we'll have five services. Of course, they'll all be online, and we invite you to join us. And for those of you who've always said, I wish I could invite my friend or my family member, but they live so far away, I really would love it if they'd come to church with me. Well, guess what? The Lord has opened an opportunity for us to do that this year. This year, since all of our services are online, would you extend a special invitation to that family member or those friends and invite them to church with you to join you online of one of our different services at Shoreline Church? Shoreline, have a great week. Stay home, stay healthy, and stay connected. God bless you.